He writes no letters He makes no phone calls Friends and family Is that another life? For what seemed like the longest time, neither my buddy Loomis nor I had a girlfriend. For the longest time. Finally, I get lucky. And when a guy's having sex every night, it's amazing how cocky he'll get. Because I start calling up Loomis. Loomis, guess what? What? Tonight, I'm going to have sex and you won't. And I don't do it just once. No, sir. I call up Loomis night after night. Loomis, guess what? Loomis, guess what? What? I'm going to have sex and you won't. <laughs> it actually became a kind of comforting ritual for us. But then, what do you say to a guy in a mental institution? Huh? What icebreaker do you use? I try to treat him like I always did. I'd bust his balls, give him a little Elmer Lang verbal massage. But now, going to visit Loomis was like going to visit Cinderella. Because like Cinderella, Loomis is real good looking and sexy. And he's got these evil stepsisters, right? The staff. And I go in there, and he's wearing rags, and they're treating him like shit. Man, I couldn't believe it. It was like, can't you see who he is? But they're evil stepsisters, and they don't want to. And that's depressing. And then we go to his room. <laughs> so what do you say to a guy in his room in a mental institution? Because Lewis is sitting there staring off into space, you know? He's real depressed. But I spent time coming to see him, you know? And I want some acknowledgement and respect for that effort. And if I wasn't gonna get it, I was gonna bust his bust balls. his balls. Like one time I said something like, ah, Loomis, the magnificent Loomis, resting here in his castle. Things are quiet for him now, but I remember a couple years ago, aliens came to Earth and threatened to destroy us unless we could prove we deserve to exist. You remember that, Lewis? You remember that? That's when these limos raced up to where Lewis was resting in his castle. Because world leaders realized, hey, this is it. There's no time for bullshit. We gotta get the coolest man on the planet to go convince the aliens we deserve to exist. So these limos race up in the driveway, guys leap out, where's Loomis? The warden's like, Loomis? You mean that, that kind of cute guy who plays guitar? That guy? Yeah, where's Loomis? They push past him, carry Loomis out real gingerly. And Loomis knows something's up, and he's got this real cocky look on his face, right? Like he's special. <laughs> they take him out to where the spaceship is hovering above the ground. Go save our ass, Loomis! <laughs> and Loomis climbs up to meet the aliens. He goes in, blows him away with a sexy I need to be mothered routine, you know. And then he tops all that by playing a couple of his songs. Oh man, Loomis has some great songs. And he finishes with this one. I know every time he plays it, at a certain place, my heart does this little flip, right? Because it's so sweet and tender and sad. There's no defense against it, I'm telling you. And when Loomis played it, I used to try and stop him because I didn't like having my heart flip-flop. You know, I wanted to control my heart. And then I go, ah, Loomis, stop playing that sad. Oh, 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 oh. And my heart would flip. And an alien's would too, is what I'm saying. And the world was saved. You remember that, Lewis? Is that the way it happened? But then I blew it. I didn't mean to, you know? I mean, I was just, you know, I just kind of took that joke one step too far. Because I was standing at the window, right? And I pull back the curtain and I say, Lewis, here come the limos. And for a second, this light came into his eyes like he almost believed me, you know? 
for he wanted to believe me. And at that moment, I think he needed to believe me. And I tell you what, it did make sense. You know, it did seem logical. I mean, I believe he was the coolest man on the planet. Lewis would be my contingency plan if aliens landed. But looking in his eyes, my mouth got stuck. Things were too serious. And in the silence that followed, that light went out. Thank you.